In today's video, we're going to dive into a new template called Press React, which takes advantage of the VPress plugin. This plugin is an alternative to VPress for adding markdown features to existing projects, whether they are built with Vue or React. Markdown has become the default choice for content creation for developers due to its simplicity and ease of use, enabling both developers and content creators to focus on the content itself rather than worrying about complex formatting options. However, adding markdown features to existing projects can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, especially if you don't want to adopt a whole new framework for your entire application. And this is where the VPress plugin can help out. This plugin is designed to be a universal solution for adding markdown features to both React and Vue projects, as well as being able to support other runtimes like .NET for Razor SSG and Blazor SSR. This enables developers to freely copy and incorporate the same markdown content and features across multiple different websites built with different technologies. To highlight the flexibility of this plugin, we've created the Press React template, which is a React application that incorporates the data from Markdown files in a consistent way thanks to the VPress plugin. Now let's have a closer look at some of the features included in the Press React template by adding some new content. First, let's add a new blog post. We can do this by adding a new markdown file in the posts folder under the source directory and using the file pattern of a date and title separated by an underscore. For example, you could use the name 2024-02-28 and that's the date underscore press-react-template.md. The VPress plugin will use this date in the file name as additional data related to the blog post itself. Next, we'll add some front matter metadata like title, summary, author tags, and an image URL. Again, this is additional metadata that any page in your application can use to filter or present blog posts. By default, the title and summary are used in the blog landing page as a way to preview along with the image author and tags. The author and tags along with the date are also used to enable additional grouping of blog posts on different pages. If we navigate to the bottom of the page, we will see a link to archive. Here we will see we can browse blog posts by year and tag. And we also get metadata for posts in pure JSON format generated statically as well. If we navigate to the API forward slash all.json file in our browser URL, we can see a list of posts and all the metadata about them in pure JSON format. And by default, additional JSON files are generated to group our blog posts by year. This enables developers to extend functionality further without the need of introducing a server process to render each page, keeping the application extremely portable and lightweight. The template is even set up to be deployed directly to GitHub pages by default using GitHub Actions, providing a free way to quickly start up your own blog or site while still getting the advantage of automated deployments. Shifting gears, let's dive into how this template works. For this React template, MDX handles the Markdown for us, but for Vue, Markdown It is used and the Markdown features are exposed in a consistent way thanks to the VPress plugin. For c -sharp projects, we can use MarkDig for Blazor server-side rendering and Razor static site generation templates. One of the goals of the VPress plugin is to implement a suite of universal Markdown powered features that can be reused across various projects. And to achieve this, the plugin uses a set of Markdown feature folders to organize the content into each feature. The plugin then makes it easy to reuse that Markdown content in different renderers in a more consistent way. Unlike our other templates, the Press React template is a pure TypeScript and React project without any .NET dependencies. So you can use this with your preferred IDE that you usually use for React development. But today, to highlight the flexibility of this template, we're going to use GitHub Code Spaces. This way, all you need is a browser 
Builder to edit and maintain the content and functionality of your application. Navigating to GitHub forward slash service stack forward slash press hyphen react and you'll be greeted with the templates repository. Using the template button at the top right, you can drop it down and select opening code spaces. Once your code space is initialized, it will also automatically install your NPM dependencies. Once your code space is ready, we can use an NPM task to launch our application, in this case, npm run dev. Then we will be prompted to open a new browser tab with our running application. With our code space open and our application open in another browser tab, we have everything we need to edit and maintain our content and functionality of the application. And thanks to Vite, we get hot reload for free. So if we take a look on the left hand side in code space, we will see a source directory. In the source directory, we will have four folders that begin with an underscore. That is includes, posts, videos, and what's new. These folders are markdown feature folders. For example, the includes feature allows you to reuse content to other React pages and other markdown pages. And we can see this if we navigate down on the main page to the features section. In the underscore includes folder in the source directory, we have a features.md. And in the index.tsx in the source folder, which is our main page, we can see the use of an include component with a source attribute called features.md. This enables developers to easily reuse content in the underscore includes directory by just referencing the name of the markdown file on a page or in another markdown page itself. And we can see this in the about.mdx. On the main page, if we scroll to the bottom, we can navigate to the about page. And this is where the about.mdx is being rendered to. And we can see in the about.mdx the use of that includes component again. And that's duplicating this content from the features.md onto the about page. And if we make changes to the features.md, they're instantly hot reloaded and reflected in both the main page and the about page. Next, we have the underscore post directory, which powers our blog content. When developers or content maintainers need to change or create new blog posts or content, we can do it from the comfort of a markdown file and we still get hot reload to easily preview our changes. If we open the simple modern React MDX blog post, we will see there are some interactive components. At the top, we see several import statements importing additional components into the blog post for use to enrich our content. We have the hello counter plugin and hello API. The hello API at the bottom interacts with a service stack API, enabling easy reuse of interactive components to enrich your blog content. And these can be used in any markdown page in the same way. By default, the template enables organization of blog posts by author, tags, and year. And you can see how this works under the source pages posts directory. Here we have an index.tsx, which is our landing page for our blog. And this pulls in content using the vpress plugin to then present on the page. And it does this using an injected context. Here we import press context from contexts and the use context to assign a press const. This enables us to access our markdown content easily and iterate through the blog posts to present them like any other variable in a React page. If we then open up the brackets slug.tsx page, we will see the same pattern to access the content, but this time we're taking a slug or a unique identifier from the route and using it to identify which blog post we're going to present to the user. The template also comes with two other metadata feature folders supported, and those are underscore videos and underscore what's new. 
underscore videos has a folder for each grouping of videos and then presents them with some additional text in each markdown file. And what's new can be used in a similar way for updates for your users. This could be used for release notes or just updating on new features. Each folder will be used as an update to group together features related to that update. The VPress plugin makes it easy to extract the data and content from your markdown files and reuse them everywhere in your application. So if you're looking for an easier way to manage a content rich web application, have a look at the links in the description to the VPress plugin and the template for the Press React application. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. The VPress plugin and the Press React template are free to use, so feel free to try them for your next React application. And as always, thanks for watching.